we're looking at Hokusai's The Wave, or The Great Wave of Kinagawa as the original title that he gave it. It's so simplistic in its technical mastery, but that's what makes it brilliant. It's minimalist, and this is thanks to Hokusai's mastery of the woodblock print medium. It actually is akin to a photograph in its composition. You know, it's so dynamic. There's this rhythmic dynamism in the waves and the, the curls and the swirls and the line. It's a snapshot in time. We don't know what happened before. We don't know what's happening next. It holds our suspense, and that's actually extremely clever and very forward thinking for traditional Japanese aesthetic that was being broken away from at the time by Hokusai's contemporaries. Hokusai has the ability here to break down the organic forms into simple areas, simple structures. We have the wave over here, we have the clouds in the sky over here, we have the mountain here, and we have the clean lines and forms of the, of the boats. It's really rhythmic, like poetry. It just works simplistically together and, and we can read it easily, which is why it works as a subject. But so much intrigues us about it and there's real, really no more lines that is absolutely required which is where it's pleasing on our eye it's simple to read but we can read detail into it i mean look at this area here where the claws of the wave come down the, the, the foam of the wave we can see the white dots of additional broken off bits of foam which are coming away and even that is quite detailed as this print was made from the same wood block the colours would change or the, the quality of the image would change over time. In other versions of this print, we can see the, the big storm clouds, the cumulonimbus clouds that are in the foreground of this picture, which is all another detail which he subtly brings in so, so cleverly. This is a perfect system for depicting nature. It's a schematic. You know, it's a pattern-like organisation of aesthetics. Another example of this schematic, this clever schematic, is another print in this series of 36 views of Mount Fuji, which is called Mount Fuji in Clear Weather. And we can see the same uh, line and the same rhythmic dynamism in that. Hokusai even produced a little book of combs, which is taking a mundane subject matter and really made it interesting in his use of simple lines, his simple use of form and the minimalism which we come to know of him. Hokusai also uses minimal colour. He started off this series using only blue. He used new synthetic pigment which was brought over from Europe, which we'll look at in the next video. Here we can even see the minimal colourways. We can see this blue vivid and striking, and then we have these subtle greys and pinks in the background. It's very simple, but so effective. So in the next video, we are going to look at the materials that he used and how Europe really influenced his style here. Hope you liked our video. Like the video, subscribe to our page and spread the word. Thanks.